Hello, this is Dr. Mercola, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about supplementation. If you've been a long-time subscriber to the newsletter, you may remember in the past I wasn't always a very big fan of supplementing. And the reason I took this position was that I felt that ideally we should receive most of our nutrition from the foods that we're eating, that if you are eating high quality, unprocessed, organic, preferably biodynamic food, you'll be able to avoid most nutritional deficiencies. As I've grown older, I've come to appreciate that this just is impossible for most people because we're making compromises as in, our, in our dietary choices. And as a result, we predispose ourselves to developing nutritional deficiencies. So there's a lot of confusion about supplementation because there's thousands and thousands of different ones that you can use and, and, and tens of thousands of different su supplement manufacturers. So I thought I'd provide my insights to help you to shed some light, at least my views and perspectives on this, and to, to, to boil it down to the bare essentials. And if you're going to supplement and, and you really want to be cost effective about it, I really believe that there's just a few that are really crucial. And those, those, one, the first one of those three is a high quality form of animal based omega 3 fats. Well, I believe plant based uh, omega 3 fats are useful, like hemp and flax, and I take them regularly myself, I believe that by themselves are not going to be su sufficient to provide all the benefits you need. So uh, unfortunately, because we are burning coal in the U.S. to generate most of the electricity, and we are dumping tons, literally tons of mercury into the environment, most of the oceans in the, in the uh, world are contaminated, and as a result, the mercury and other toxins bioaccumulate in the, in the, in the uh, food chain. And as a result, most of the fish are not really suitable for a source of, of high-quality animal-based omega-3 fats. So that's why I now recommend krill oil for a number of reasons. One is because it has uh, very, virtually no mercury or heavy metal toxicity because of the size of the organism. But in addition, it's loaded with beneficial high-quality antioxidants. And these antioxidants prevent the oxidation from the air from these omega-3 fats, which are highly perishable. It also is attached to phospholipids. The phospholipids improve the absorption and decrease the amount of actual of, of the uh, krill that you will actually need because it's so efficiently absorbed. Now, I also think that most of us should have some type of supplemental form of good bacteria. Now, this is clearly achievable through the diet, and by that I mean a, a form of homemade uh, raw milk, kefir, or yogurt. Um, or fermented foods such as sauerkraut or uh, natto or kimchi regularly. So uh, it's been my experience though that most people are not incorporating these in their diet. As a result, they need some external form of good bacteria supplementation to prevent uh, uh, side effects from uh, a variety of different uh, problems with digestive disorders and, and tendencies towards yeast symptoms. So this is something I recommend uh, for myself uh, my families and, and all of the patients in our clinic. So uh, ideally you want to select a high quality good probiotic and there's a number of different factors that are, that are important in the consideration of this selection and I've done another video that specifically focus on that and you want to, may want to view that for more details. But lastly I think it's also important to have a, a, a high quality antioxidant because free radical damage is pervasive in, the, in the, the formation of many diseases and certainly in the acceleration of aging. And free radicals are typically uh, un oxygen atoms with unpaired electrons and they, they just wreak havoc in your tissues and they damage DNA and they cause a lot of problems. And your body has normal systems to, to protect, your, protect you from that and that typically is your antioxidants. And the antioxidants donate an electron so that the oxygen is a free radical I, 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 atom is neutralized and, and doesn't start to damage. However, after they make that donation, the vitamin C and vitamin E and alpha lipoic acid, they become relatively useless because they, don't, they can't donate anymore. So uh, that's where uh, uh, coenzyme Q Q10, especially the reduced form, which is more efficient, uh, ubiquinol comes into play because it has the potential to regenerate and recycle these other antioxidants so that they continue to prevent against the damage of free radical formation. So those are the, the top three that I recommend. The high quality form of animal based omega-3 fats such as krill oil, high quality probiotic and ubiquinol. And if you're interested, you know, we, we've, the, the, as I said earlier, the challenge is to sort of sort through all these different manufacturers and there's many, many issues um, and I'm sure you're familiar with some and you clearly do not want to go with the lowest price. I've been, it's been my experience that the, the, the typically the lowest price 
uh, liter is going to compromise some way in quality because you want to make sure that there's no magnesium stearate or titanium dioxide and that they have they incorporate high quality manufacturing process to catch any errors or mistakes that are made. So we've gone through the due diligence and we've selected high quality manufacturers that you can trust that, that really will provide outstandingly high quality products. And we've actually packaged these three together in a pack called the Essential 3 Pack. And because they're packaged together, they're, they're able to, re to reduce the price to you. And hopefully this information will give you some uh, further insights, at least my understanding and viewpoints on supplementation and in the, in the prioritization of such so that you can make wise choices when it comes to supplements. Mm -hmm.